Good morning. This is Thursday, December 10th, and today's devotion is entitled The Offering of the Natural. This is Galatians 4.22. It is written that Abraham had two sons, the one by a bondwoman and the other by a free woman. Paul is not dealing with sin in this chapter of Galatians, but with the relation of the natural to the spiritual. The natural can be turned into the spiritual only through sacrifice. Without this, a person will lead a divided life. And I want to go back up to when he's talking about Abraham. Uh, the natural was to get a son, to get an heir. And so he took his bondwoman, and she gave him Ishmael. The spiritual was to wait and have a son through Sarah, as God had promised. So without this understanding the person will lead a divided life thinking that he needs to do what seems obvious the bondwoman versus what seems spiritual wait upon the lord through sarah why did god demand that natural the natural must be sacrificed well god did not demand it, it is not god's perfect will but his permissive will god's perfect will was for the natural to be changed into the spiritual through obedience in other words we take what we think we ought to do and sacrifice it to God and wait upon him for his will through obedience. Sin is what made it necessary for the natural to be sacrificed. Abraham had to offer up Ishmael before he offered up Isaac. That's Genesis 21. Some of us are trying to offer up spiritual sacrifices to God before we have sacrificed our natural self or consecrated our natural self. The only way we can offer spiritual sacrifice to God is to present our bodies as living sacrifices. That's Romans 12, very good scripture, 12, 1 and 2. Sanctification means more than being free from sin. It means the deliberate commitment of myself to God, of my salvation, and being willing to pay whatever it may cost. Again, I have to go back as I did yesterday to the rich young ruler. Be willing to pay whatever it may cost. Jesus said, it's going to cost you, son, Everything. Sell all that you have. Give your money to the poor. You shall have then riches in heaven. Then pick up your cross and follow me. Consecrate all of who we are to God. Heart, mind, soul, and strength. God began all of his relationships with us with that command. You shall love the Lord your God with all your heart, mind, and soul, and strength. And Jesus added to that by saying, and your neighbor as yourself. If we do not sacrifice the natural to the spiritual... The natural life will resist and defy the life of the Son of God within us, and it will produce a constant turmoil. This is always the result of an undisciplined spiritual nature. In other words, we're trying to serve God and serve self. We go wrong because we stubbornly refuse to discipline ourselves physically, morally, or mentally. And we excuse it, possibly, by saying, well, I wasn't taught to be disciplined when I was a child. And Oswald writes, then discipline yourself now. Don't look back and say this, that, and the other when you know it needs to be, needs to be done right now. It needs to happen, so just do it. If you don't, you'll ruin your entire personal walk with God. God is not actively involved with our natural life as long as we continue to pamper and gratify our natural life. But once we are willing to put it out in the desert, he's referring to a scapegoat, Leviticus 16.10, as long as we're willing to put it out in the desert and are determined to keep it under control, God will be with us. He will then provide wells and oasis and fulfill all of his promises for the natural. That's Genesis 21. We might say, I just want to know God's will. And if we do say, I just want to know God's will, then we have to stop trying to orchestrate our own lives. We need to consecrate our will to his will. Just surrender it. Surrender everything about who you are to God. Because then you'll be walking in his will. His will is that we would be holy as he is holy. So the challenge I have today is Leviticus 16.10. Do we need to send out a scapegoat into the desert? Do we need to consecrate ourselves to God today completely? Let's pray. Father, I thank you for uh, challenging us the way you do to grow deeper with you. And Lord, sometimes uh, it, it, it is indeed a challenge. But I pray today, Lord, that you would guide each one of us into a, a surrender of self.
to just consecrate our individuality, our personality, and give it back to you, that you may use it. Lord, there's somebody out there that will be drawn to us because of who you made us to be. Let us consecrate that so that we can see, more importantly, they can see your Son in our lives. And we ask this in Christ's name. Amen. God bless, and I'll see you tomorrow.